guys, welcome to another episode of Earn Your Strength. Today we're going to be talking about the two minute test booster. In the fitness industry, testosterone is this thing that's been confused and manipulated a lot. And so I really want to go over what exactly I'm talking about here. I watched a really great TED video, which you guys can search up yourself. It's called Your Body Language Shapes Who You Are by Amy Cuddy. And basically, she tries to illustrate the point that the way you carry yourself determines who you are and how other people see you, right? So the question is then, can your body language affect how others see you? And the answer to that is, well, yes. Think about it. Whenever you go into like a job interview, you know, you go online and you read like how to sit through a job interview questions people are going to ask you. And one of the things is, Make sure you're sitting up tall, you know, don't be slouching back in the chair, don't be sitting over slugging your shoulders, nice and tall, proud, displaying yourself. And it's the same idea. In some cases, holding yourself in a powerful pose can alter how others see you. And it's true. Lots of times, you know, if you're out on a date with someone and they're kind of slouching over, or you know, they're super heavily dependent on you, you kind of get a different perception of who they are. And it's the same idea, your body language shapes who you are, okay? The other thing I want to talk about is, what is a power pose? And she, uh, Amy Cuddy goes over this concept in the video. I'm only going to go briefly into it because I really just wanted to show you guys this. So you all go and watch this actual TED talk. Um, but a power pose is essentially a position of strength, okay? So this would not be a power pose. This could potentially be a power pose. But something like this, presenting yourself to the world, being proud of who you are, this is a powerful pose. And in the video she discusses that stuff like that, holding yourself in a powerful pose, stuff like this, you know, being proud of who you are can actually boost your testosterone levels by up to 20%. And inversely, they drop your cortisol levels, which is good, you know, you decrease your stress, increase your testosterone, obviously. Thinking about it from a physiological level, this could potentially increase our athletic performance. So one of the things that I really, really urge you guys to do is to try stuff like this. Okay, now I'm a firm believer in, you know, sort of holistic practices, stuff like that. Things that lots of people would sort of shrug off. I, I really like doing interesting new things. And so when I watched this video, I thought, hmm, could this work? So sure enough, I mean, I haven't done any blood tests to see if anything has changed. but. I've seen a noticeable increase in energy levels, in vitality. Most of the times, uh, I do it just before I go to bed. So before I go to bed, I just sit there and I just sort of accept who I am. I accept um, this powerful pose. I try and really stay true to where I'm standing, who I am, for about one or two minutes. And I've really, really found that not only does it help me sleep, but I, I found that it really does increase my energy levels the next day. So, again guys, I really urge you to go and watch Your Body Language Shapes Who You Are. It's a TED Talk by Amy Cuddy. Okay, she explains this whole concept really, really well. She has scientific evidence to back it up. It's awesome stuff, guys. Thanks again.